I'm Brian Whiteley, and I run Satellite Art Show. It's an art fair in Miami, and I'm the founder and director. We are in John Gomez's Chicano theme tattoo parlor. Um, and John is an artist based in LA, and he comes from a lot of the culture there that um, mixes kind of like lowbrow, highbrow, um, and Latin culture. Right now with the live tattoo that I'm getting, um, that same type of idea where art is can be this highbrow, lowbrow, art for the people. You can leave with from this fair with a tattoo, artwork on your body, buy a painting, experience immersive um, rooms and artworks and installations. So we basically are trying to provide opportunity for people to have access to art without feeling like you have to just be a collector. We have about 30 projects in here. Each one attracts you into the space and provides with some different type of um, engagement. Artists like Kyle Heinle from uh, Florida, who is an artist with uh, been bad cerebral palsy since he was a child, who found art as a therapy. Beautiful works. And we have other artists um, like Carla Maldonado, who uh, is from Brazil, who does deals with like the deforestation and the rainforest and climate change. Juan Bravo from New York, where you are literally flying through space. Inflatable objects that will inflate and contrast based on your presence next to them. Mirrored rooms, 3D map rooms from um, an artist um, named Holly Danger. And it's a lounge area. You can, it's kind of like a therapy and a calming area for you to experience and soak in all of the visuals that you are getting impacted with. The work here is from a wide variety of people with different backgrounds. Um, and what I've been trying to, to do with them is propel them to kind of make these spaces the most exaggerated form of what their artwork can be and should be. And so the diversity of backgrounds and culture and where their experiences are coming from can be heightened when you add this immersive element to it. And people can really get saturated in this one person or this one artist's idea um, that they want to convey to you, as well as you're typically going to meet the artist or the person behind the work instead of just someone just trying to simply do maybe an art sale. So people have really interesting and in-depth conversations about where their practices, where their ideas come from, and they leave this art fair feeling like they've learned something valuable or learn more about culture. My name is Carla Maldonado, and I'm a Brazilian artist. To me, this work is pretty much me going back to this romantic idea of what the Amazon forest was, but at the same time getting to know that the only way that this forest is going to stay alive is if these indigenous activists have the power to keep doing the work that they do for humanity. Everything that we need right now is coming from 60% of the remaining rainforest that it's now in Brazil and it's endangered. The newspapers, the news are actually like the current news that I've been dealing with uh, for the past few months. The act of like printing them, putting them on the wall, just putting a red blinking light is just trying to remind people that this is still happening. Museums are coming here to see what's next and who to pick up and who to show. And I think that's a testament to what we're, we're doing, is that we're trying to build a platform for uh, where the art world can go in the future, not what's happened in the past. We have something for everybody. So when they come to the fair, they have this experience where they feel included. There's something for you there. And that's, I think, the magic of it. Have you ever done an interview while you got a tattoo? That's a definite no. <laughs>